Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't lie, I was high on shrubs. Hey guys, what I said, I'm going to Nate here is Strange Wang and say you're actually the trailer number one for House of Gucci. It is House of Gucci. And you can hear me talk about Gucci and all the other nice clothes I wear on social media. Which is in the description box down below along with his social media, the channel social media, a coffee account, and Patreon. So you can give us monies, help support the channel, which really means we're going to buy Gucci with your money. <laughs> but that's a, don't worry about it, just support the channel. We're going to get some you know? Gucci sound dampeners? Yeah, some Gucci sound dampeners. Green, red, green, you know what I'm saying? It's going to look very nice. But all that is down there in the description box below. But now let's get into the House of Gucci. Shouts out Bobby Gucci. That's the homie. It was a name that sounded so sweet. So seductive. Yeah, because it rhymes with Gucci. Synonymous with words. Style. Power. But that name was a curse too. Bronze. Your name is in the history books. Oh, you are Gucci. You need to dress the part. It's chic. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's my boy. Gucci needs no blood. Studio 54, that's gonna be cool. You picked a real Trying to put him in that sunken place. That's facts. Father, son, and house. Alright, that was a little cheesy. A little bit. Just a touch. But this looks right up my alley. And speaking about Gucci's and Gucci and Alley's, I used to sell fake Gucci at the. Well, I used to sell Gucci. I ain't gonna say it was fake. It's never proven. I used to sell Gucci out of my truck in the alley, and then the fire uh, captain, he he bought some, and then he put the, put the pinch on me, because he said it was fake, but I had to get out of town for a while. Liar! Liar! But I would love to get out of town to go to the theater to see this movie, because it looks that good. It was right up my alley, as I said. What they put on the screen, that looks like... Not the ingredients for a compelling movie, especially for me. Mm -hmm. Those types of movies are always fun. They're interesting. They make you ask questions. They're a bit thought-provoking, along with very entertaining. And the cast. Look at that cast. That cast is yeah. sensational. <laughs> it's the cast for me, for sure, that 100% sells this. Um, but, like, also... All right, so my... I'm just I'm curious as to how much like to the real life events this is playing to because there are lots of movies that are based on those things but then they take the alternate reality approach to some degree so I'm very curious to see if this will be what I would personally consider a technical biopic or not because just because it's got a lot of style and flair doesn't mean that it's not right well I mean they don't know whatever happened to this guy so it's all speculation exactly right so uh, it's almost like Irishman type stuff because yeah. they don't know what happened to Jimmy Hoffa either. Well, I do. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, your uncle probably took care of him. But Shit, probably. And your uncle's probably in this too. All these freaking Italians. Uh, nothing against Italians except that one. But yeah, dude, I love how stylized it it comes across while like still being like very classy, which it needs to be because of like you know the fashion empire that it is surrounded by. Uh, I'm stoked. 
like Ridley Scott, sometimes he makes really good movies. Uh, and I can't think of one off the top of my head that I can think he's directed that is like in this vein of like film. So, All the money in the world. Okay, yeah, that's fair. But like, other than that, not the kind of thing you normally think of when you think of Ridley Scott. So I try not to think of Ridley Scott. I'm with you. Like <laughs> he makes some good movies, but it's like he. I don't think he's batting 500. For me personally, the only two I can think of that's like spectacular is Alien and uh, Gladiator. Braveheart. Right, you did, did Braveheart. Huh? You did Braveheart? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, there's three. I'm pretty sure. Prometheus, I could do without. Yeah. That Alien one he did after Prometheus, I could do without that too. I just got out for 12 hour shift to work, so I might be wrong, but I'm like 90% sure that he directed Braveheart. Well, subscribe to the YouTube channel so he doesn't have to suck dick for money for 12 hours. What? But why you do that, leave a comment down below. What do you think about House of Gucci? Scroll up, hit the like button, share the video. And if you didn't do it when I asked you to the first time, please subscribe to the YouTube channel so he doesn't have to suck dick for money for 12 yeah, hours. You can hear my jaw pop. I don't think they heard your jaw pop, but subscribe I, nonetheless. I guarantee you, you will hear that when you get do you like cheesecake at all? I love cheesecake. I love cheesecake at night time, real late at night. Cheesecake could do, man. Top it up before you go to sleep. <laughs> what flavor of cheesecake do you like, Future? Just the regular one, original. What does that taste like? Just full on cheese? Uh, it tastes like cheesecake. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs>